I'm here to talk about autonomous vehicles. It's perhaps the most intense AI challenge, but it's also one with the greatest benefits to society. It will save lives, make roads less congested, and change the way billions of people move around the world. There are three core pillars of the machine learning pipeline being developed at NVIDIA to create automated driving solutions that can be used by the transportation industry. First is the real-time AI-based software stack running on an efficient, high-performance supercomputer that goes inside every vehicle. Second, there are AI models trained on our DGX servers in the cloud. And finally, a simulation platform is required, and we've built it on Omniverse. It's used both for synthetic data generation as well as to test and validate the AV system. This machine learning pipeline is never ending. Autonomous driving software will need to continuously develop and improve. New data will be collected and synthetically generated. Models will be retrained in the data center, then validated in simulation before new software is ultimately updated for use on the road. We've created this end-to-end -end automotive platform and modules so that our partners can use exactly what they need to speed time to market and build a product that can stay true to their brand. We have some partners that just buy our chips and core operating system while developing their own software applications. Other partners like Mercedes-Benz rely on us across this entire stack from our self-driving software running on NVIDIA Drive computers in each car to training AI models in the cloud, synthetic data generation, vehicle validation, and testing of new features through simulation, which finally get pushed over the air into each Mercedes-Benz vehicle. Developing an autonomous vehicle requires an entirely new platform architecture and software development process. Both the hardware and software must be comprehensively tested and validated to ensure they can handle the harsh conditions of daily driving with the stringent safety and security needs of an automated vehicle. This is why NVIDIA has built and made open the Drive Hyperion platform, which specifies a high-performance computer and sensor architecture that meets the safety requirements of a fully autonomous vehicle. Today, we are in our eighth generation of Hyperion, it has been adopted by hundreds of automakers, truck makers, tier ones, and robotaxi companies. Hyperion 8 is designed with redundant drive oriented computers, 12 state-of-the-art surround cameras, nine radar, 12 ultrasonics, one front-facing LiDAR, and three interior sensing cameras. It's architected to be functionally safe so that if one computer fails, there's a backup available to ensure that the autonomous vehicle can drive its passenger to a safe place. We have spent many years developing a data collection system with high quality calibration and time synchronization in 4D so our partners can leverage NVIDIA's AV investment and focus their resources on their own AI application development. We have also defined Hyperion with our standard AGX form factor so that customers can design their autonomous vehicle to scale across generations of their vehicles. With this standard form factor, an automotive OEM can go to production with a drive or in computer today and easily plug in a hardware and software compatible drive outland computer in the future. Today, I'm pleased to announce that leading automotive tier one suppliers to say, Flex, Quanta, Vallejo, and ZF as Drive Hyperion 8 platform scaling partners. Together, these partners provide the automotive ecosystem with world-class tier one options who can manufacture production-ready Hyperion platforms with the highest levels of functional safety and security. We're very proud of these partnerships as they demonstrate how Hyperion 8 has quickly become the automotive industry's most open and adopted platform architecture, and you will see it start hitting production as early as this year. The transportation industry is going through a rapid transformation. This change started with a move from internal combustion engines to electric motors. Electric vehicles are not just better for the environment. They fundamentally improve the driving experience for consumers. They drive more quietly, accelerate faster, and they will last longer. 
Over the course of the next several decades, we will see the majority of cars sold be electric. This transformation has given way to dozens of new energy vehicle startups. They have reimagined the car, starting with a new vehicle architecture based on programmable software-defined computers. I'm very pleased to announce that our Drive Hyperion platform has been adopted by leading new energy vehicle OEMs in the industry. Volvo established Polestar is bringing a storied heritage of safe driving into the modern era with electric vehicles that emphasize the joy of driving. The upcoming Polestar 3 SUV features a centralized compute architecture powered by NVIDIA Drive. China, now the world's largest auto market, has also been very successful driving the transition to NEVs, with nearly 20% of all cars sold in China this past quarter being electric. We're really excited to work with the vast majority of the leading NEV companies in China, including NIO, Xpeng, Li Auto, R Auto, and SAIC's premium electric vehicle brand, IM. These new electric cars will get better and better over time with each over-the-air update. Such companies can benefit from new business models that are software-driven. Rather than selling a car and seeing it degrade once it's driven out of the dealership, the tech-based automotive company manages a fleet of vehicles that will improve with new services and functions offered over the life of a vehicle. The potential of these relatively young electric automotive companies and their innovative business models is really disruptive. It has resulted in the market valuing them higher than car companies that are well-established and produce millions of vehicles each year. AI is not just transforming passenger vehicles, but also opening up a major opportunity for disruption in the commercial sector. Over the last decade, and accelerated by the pandemic, consumer shopping has dramatically shifted online resulting in increased demand for trucking and last mile delivery. This trend is expected to continue with projections starting at 170 billion packages being shipped in 2022 and increasing to 280 billion packages in 2027. Simultaneously, the trucking industry has been experiencing a significant shortage of drivers. Over the next few years, this gap is expected to widen even further, increasing to a shortage of more than 140,000 drivers in the U.S. alone by 2027 and more than a million worldwide. We are now seeing a large number of autonomous driving services being built to enable these opportunities that are together essential to our transportation future. Today, I'm pleased to announce that Too Simple will be building its autonomous trucking platform on NVIDIA Drive Oren. Too Simple is an exciting company that's meeting the challenges of today's trucking and logistics industry with its scalable autonomous freight network. Too Simple is already working with the leading names in delivery, including UPS, Navistar, and Penske, and its technology has already improved arrival times for long-haul routes of the U.S. Postal Service. Now, I mentioned earlier that developing AV is a grand AI challenge. At the heart of AI model development, we need the ability to collect a lot of data and accurately label it to allow our AI engineers to build accurate and safe AI models. Labeling real-world data can be time-consuming, costly, and difficult. In fact, often, the data we are most interested in using is also data that's the most challenging to label. Here are some examples from our own data set that are difficult to label, including scenes that are dark, blurry, or hazy. Others contain scenes that are challenging to understand, like occluded vehicles or pedestrians. We also have many scenes that are not often encountered, like construction zones. These issues are the reasons why AV developers need a mix of real data and synthetic data when developing their AM models. Because of all these labeling challenges, NVIDIA has built DriveSim Replicator, a synthetic data generator for autonomous vehicle development. Replicator helps our AI engineers to build up hard-to-label ground truth data by synthetically generating them from virtual cameras, LiDAR, and radar sensors within our Omniverse simulation platform. In this way, engineers can train AI models even before any real data has been collected. And Replicator can label ground truth in ways that humans cannot, tracking moving objects across sensors, velocity, distance, occlusion, and severe weather conditions. It's a really powerful tool for the AV developer. It's accurate, low cost, and it fills in gaps for data not easily found in the real world. The industry is just getting started on its path to truly self-driving technology. 
Most vehicles today are only able to deliver level two driving, commonly referred to as advanced driver assistance systems that require drivers to still be fully attentive. We are now starting to see cars classified as level three that allow drivers to take their eyes off the road but still remain in the driver's seat. Some companies are also developing level four and level five solutions that will be truly self-driving, allowing the driver to become a passenger and even sleep in the backseat. These include autonomous last mile deliveries, hub to hub trucking, and passenger robo-taxi. The complexity of AV software development is ever increasing for these different use cases. Vehicles targeted for higher levels of autonomy consume much more data as they're designed with more sensors each with higher resolutions for better accuracy. AI networks and software architecture also increase in complexity as you require true self-driving. All of these factors result in a large increase in data center infrastructure required for self-driving software development. Companies investing in basic L2 systems can have data centers that need just one or 2,000 GPUs. And then we see some companies needing upwards of 25,000 GPUs when developing full self-driving systems. Now our strategy at NVIDIA is unique to the industry. We help our partners with computers and software in the car. We also help them with their infrastructure in the cloud. And when our partners align to our drive Hyperion architecture, we can help them connect their platform in the car with their infrastructure in the cloud seamlessly. We believe the speed of an OEM's end-to-end -end autonomous driving software development flow is the most critical asset and differentiator. Software-defined vehicles will incorporate two key computers built with NVIDIA Drive Orin. So far today, I've talked about the computer for autonomous driving, the Drive Chauffeur, and how it is an AI-assisted driving platform that can handle both highway and urban traffic with the utmost safety. Using the high-performance compute architecture and sensor set of Drive Hyperion 8, Drive Chauffeur can drive you from address to address. But there's another equally important computer that is needed for a next generation software defined vehicle and we call it Drive Concierge. With Drive Concierge, vehicle occupants have access to intelligent services that are always on, using NVIDIA Omniverse Avatar for real-time conversational AI. Welcome, Cheryl. Your calendar shows your CES hotel check-in for tonight. If we leave now, we can avoid traffic on 880. Perfect, drive me there. Activating autopilot. I'm ready to enjoy the ride, but it's a little warm in here. Should I roll down the windows or turn on the air conditioner? You know what? Open the sunroof. Opening the sunroof for now. Omniverse Avatar connects speech AI, computer vision, natural language understanding, recommendation engines, and simulation. The technology of Omniverse Avatar enables Drive Concierge to serve as everyone's digital assistant, helping them with recommendations to make reservations, safely use mobile devices, and provide alerts like if a purse is left behind in the vehicle. It's personalized to each driver and passenger, giving every vehicle occupant their own personal concierge. Are there any important messages for me? There is one from Jensen. He asks, can you meet for dinner tomorrow? Great. Can you find me a Michelin star restaurant in Las Vegas? The first result is Nobu located at 3799 Las Vegas Boulevard. Who is the head chef there? Nobu's head chef is Nobu Mitsuisa. What is his signature dish? His signature dish is black cod with miso. What wine goes well with that? Nobu's head sommelier recommends a crisp white wine like a Sauvignon Blanc with black cod miso. Sounds like a winner. Are there reservations available for dinner tomorrow? There is availability for a party of two at 7.30 p.m. Perfect. Please book it. Can you respond to Jensen to let him know to meet us there tomorrow? Okay. Should I send it? Yes, please. Okay. Sending. Drive Concierge also needs to be tightly integrated with Drive Chauffeur to provide high quality 360 degree 4D visualization inside the vehicle so the driver can comfortably sit back and trust the chauffeur to safely drive. Drive Chauffeur and Concierge together can do really beautiful things. As an example, they can serve as a valet to let you out at the entrance of your destination and enable the car to search for a parking spot on its own. 
And then when you're ready to leave, you simply summon your concierge who will ask your chauffeur to drive your car back to you. From AI in the car to AI in the cloud, NVIDIA is paving the way to safer and more efficient transportation. Now we're still in the early stages of this exciting journey, and I can't wait to see what our partners develop and deliver to consumers on our Hyperion A platform starting later this year and beyond. Thank you.